Hey Goth Girl 22, it's I am Sever Snape, and I'm gonna show you how I did my cover. Um, unfortunately, the super hyper cam likes to remove the what I'm doing and what I'm saying out of sync. So if you don't know what I'm doing, please let me know, and I will try and help you. Um, so the website I use is Pixar.com. It's very much like uh, what would you call it? pretty much like Photoshop, it's like a Photoshop online editing software that I use all the time. And I'll show you what images I used to make this <coughs> cover. Okay, so what's it called? Potions of Love. So really the only two pictures that I used were this one and this one. And I'll sh tell you how I acquired them later. So, this was just a simple shadow picture that I found that resembles Hermione and Snape. Um, and what I did was I, first of all, I have to select this picture right here while I'm moving. And you can click over here on this blue background and you can click and drag it and drop it there. Um, since it's a little bit small, I'm going to put Control T and then we'll click shift before I click the edges and make it a bit bigger so that I can fit it to the image and then I'm going to click enter and then I'm going to try to keep it in line and bring it down a bit to about right there and this is a button over here click that and that's going to toggle the layer settings and what I did was I scrolled down this drop down menu to lighten and I kind of layered, layered those pictures together perfectly but I'm gonna fade the opacity bring it down just a little bit I believe that's what I did it wasn't not let me see I'm gonna use this as a reference yes I did bring it down the opacity quite a bit Okay, then the fonts I used were, let's enter this first, Potions of, I'm going to bring this up to white, and the, what was it, um, yeah, you're going to have to use the arrow keys when selecting, uh, there it is. A Dine Kernberg script. Um, when using Pixlr, you're going to have to do, use a drop down menu. You can scroll down, but it won't bring you from font to font. And you have to use your arrow keys when you get to a certain point if you're missing them. Anyway, and the reason why I got these fonts, you can just download them offline. And once you install them and go back onto this page, they'll be there for you to use. Anyway, in some of these fonts you'll have to put a space before and after the words or else it'll cut it off. So I'm gonna bring up the size of that and click OK. Click another spot on the page. Enter love. And you can I change this to a nice pink color. And you can move that so you can see what color you're changing your font to. Oops. And I think it was about, I'd say that color. And this was a Harry Potter font that I used. It's called Magic. And I'm going to scroll up and find. Oh, there it is, Magic. And I brought this font up to size and just placed it right underneath it. And really, it's very simple, and you can play around with it and get to know it. And that's pretty much all you have to know. Um, you can check out my other tutorials and see how I uh, did it. And I, what I do suggest when you do save it, um, I used to save JPEGs. So I used to save JPEGs and put up to 100. 
If I don't do that anymore, I scroll down and go to PNG because it's the highest quality you can save it to. And once you save that, you're going to come back and then you're going to do save it as a PXC. And what that does is it saves um, the image with all the layers on it. So if you want to come back and change the font or something like that, it'd be a lot easier to use. You just open that file, but it can only be opened on this website. So if you have any more questions, whoops, let me know. Um, and the websites I used were images.google.ca and I just searched love potions and I found I don't know I found the picture here but then it had writing oh there it is I found it that picture right there but it, since it was the, the font I just typed in love potion perfume and I came up with that image so I saved that and when I was looking for the pictures for um, for Snape and Hermione I just looked up Hermione oops Snape and I think it was, I clicked this picture, and it brought me to fanpop.com. So I exited that picture, and I went through all the pictures that were here, that were given to me. So I eventually found the few that I liked. And one of them was the... Was it? And one of them was the picture that I used for your cover, and you can find uh, a lot of pictures on here, especially on FanPop, because there are a lot of fan-made pictures. So yeah, if you have any more questions, um, first I get those tutorials, but if I have further questions after that, let me know, and I'll try.